Here's what really happened in the full 13 seconds of the Jose Aldo Conor McGregor fight. Now, obviously, Conor did a great job timing the left, and we'll get into that in a second. But I just want to talk about the amazing mental warfare Conor put Jose Aldo through this fight because he made Jose Aldo make such out of character mistakes in that full 13 seconds. I mean, he verbally abused this man for a year straight. And a lot of people think the mental game might not play a huge factor in fighting. It absolutely does. And it played a huge factor in one of, if not the biggest featherweight meetup of all time between Jose Aldo and Conor McGregor. First, I want to point out this is what Conor does really well, or at least he did it really well in his prime, and I think he's going to need to do it against Michael Chandler. This is the same thing I was talking about in the Sean O'Malley video where he uses these front kicks right here to create distance. This is not really doing a lot of damage. Maybe it annoys you a little bit. Maybe it hurts a little bit. But this is to create that space for Conor so he can counter you at range, which he's so good at. But now we're getting to the point that I wanted to talk about with the huge mistake that Jose Aldo made that he, I don't, I've never even really seen him do it again since then or before this. Now, this is where the knockout blow comes from, Connor. But look at this space. Look at how far forward Jose Aldo is lunging. I mean, look how far away his legs are spread. If anybody has watched Jose Aldo box or strike, like he never does anything like this. And a huge lunging motion of someone that has a massive reach advantage on you. Just doing everything he has to step forward, lunge forward, and try to reach for this left hook to land on Connor. Like this is 100% has to do with the mental warfare Connor put Jose Aldo through going into this fight. And just like the Sean O'Malley, Alderman Sterling fight, this was just easy money for Connor. Just step back, time the left, and just that is all she wrote. Like, yes, Connor's stand up and his power and his timing is the reason why he won this fight, but the mental warfare leading up to it is what made it so much quote unquote easier for him to time this. Like, I truly believe if Connor didn't put Jose Aldo what he put him through, I do not think Jose Aldo makes this mistake. And this is part of, if not a lot of the reason why Connor is so special, because not just in the octagon, but out of the octagon, he causes you to make mistakes just like this one, the same thing he did to Dustin Poirier in the first fight. People have joked on here saying, I don't give Connor enough credit. Connor deserves all the credit for this one, let me tell you that. Jose Aldo was unbeaten for 10 years, seven straight title defenses, and he got so bad in this guy's head, he got him to make the biggest mistake of his life, and he paid for it. Let me know your thoughts below and let me know who you got winning, Connor or Michael Chandler.